so here's the inverter for 220 volts and it has an USB output also it has an on off switch the green light shows us if there is power if there is plus and minus connected there and the red one this one if there is a lower voltage or a higher voltage the input the power which will be supplied here should be between 11 volts and 15 volts DC okay so let's see this part this is the plus and that's the minus and I'm going to use this connector which will be plugged in there into the 12 volt socket this socket on this car the Citroen Star Picasso it's powered all the time okay and one goes here and the other one goes there and put on these nuts tighten them down okay that was connected the plus and the minus that's the input that will power the entire uh, inverter let's place it here somewhere so when I plug this in, the 12 volt plug, the green LED should come on after I press the power button of course. That's connected. Now let's see this one. Okay, so the red was on for a short time and it went out, so th uh, there's no problem, but there is power, the green LED. So now we have 220 volts in the car. Okay, so let's plug in something. Here's a battery charger for some lithium ion batteries. Lithium polymer. Okay, and connect the battery here. What is the red LED came on here? So it's charging on the 220 volts. It's charging a 7.4 volt battery okay and if I disconnect the battery then this LED should go up okay it's not turning off it's going to green okay and here's another thing a camera let's try this one also this has another connector which has a USB plug. Let's place it there. Let's use the USB this time. Okay, so now we're using the USB and the 220 volts also. And the camera is charging. It's blinking slowly, that means the video camera, it's a Panasonic, is being charged. Okay, so that's the 220 volt inverter. Energy Jenny, it's a 300 watt inverter. It turns the 12 volts DC into 220 volts AC and it outputs a constant power of 300 watts and it can support up to 600 watts peak power and 300 watts continuous power. Let's see if it can charge this one also okay and this is almost fully charged starts turning green okay so i can unplug that one and i have to disconnect this one because there's only one 220 volt outlet connect this one and it says charging there's no error here the red led is not on so this one is charging the cell phone, it's moving, okay, and it's charging the camera also. Battery is working fine in the car and can charge batteries. I just powered off the inverter, let's disconnect it from the power also. And let's try a small inverter, this outputs 500 milliamps at 6 volts okay so this is a very weak one compared to this one let's introduce this one here let's try a battery charger 
insert this one here. And it's charging. It starts blinking, it should turn into green if it's fully charged. Yes, it's starting turning green. It's green. Green, that is the battery, is fully charged. This battery. Let's see whether this small inverter can charge the video camera through the USB. If the camera blinks slowly, which is not blinking, it's not doing it. If it blinks slowly, then it's charging. But as you can see, it's not blinking. So this small inverter cannot charge up the camera. So this small inverter is not powerful enough to charge this video camera. So let's test again the large inverter, just to be sure. Plug it in, power it on and plug in the USB of the camera and the LED should turn on and yes it is on so this one is powerful enough to charge a video camera but this small one is not powerful enough to charge that video camera small inverter is plugged in the power is shown that is turned on but now since the battery is drained because I threw the quadcopter now it's not able to charge the battery let me show you so it's connected and it's blinking red and green plus when it's trying to charge notice the red LED of the small inverter is also blinking so it's trying to suck some power but that one can't provide it. So the small inverter cannot charge a 7 volt LiPo.